Hey guys, welcome to day 147 of my carnivore journey, uh, where I tell you guys what I eat, how I feel every single day, just because we, you know, we need that information, I, I feel, you know, and I try not to generalize too much as far as um, I'm going to tell you what I eat, but in, in the description down below, I try to give you more of the exact amounts. Anyways, guys, let's get going. Um, so today I ended up having uh, really no lunch. Um, I just been busy, you know, with um, working on the new place, trying to uh, just clean things, organize things, all that kind of stuff. You know, it just just is work to kind of get organized and settled in. And so I didn't really end up having lunch, but I did work. I did make a chuck roast today. So around like, you know, early afternoon. I went ahead and made a chuck roast and put it in the oven. It's a two pound chuck roast. And um, after that, I ended up cutting it in half and eating half for dinner tonight, along with three eggs and three pieces of bacon right here. So you can see uh, everything was really good. Now, I will tell you that there was plenty of, of juice because I, I baked it in a, uh, uh, like a, a roaster kind of pan. And I put, um, probably at least a dozen cups of water, um, in the bottom with a little bit of beef broth, uh, basically flavoring and salt. I salted the, uh, the chuck roast on all sides, seared it on all sides, and then baked it on 325 for two hours. Um, with aluminum foil tightly wrapped over the top and it came out great uh, oh 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 and i threw a stick of butter on top of the chuck roast so i threw just a whole stick of butter right on top of the chuck roast put the aluminum foil over everything and stuck it in the oven now that also made an excellent broth so i took a small bowl and put some broth in it and i used that to dip my roast um, my chuck roast in while I was eating with the eggs and the bacon. Now I want to talk about food fatigue. I know this is something that some of you worry about, especially some of you in the first couple months of carnivore. And as I'm approaching my six, I can't believe I was almost six months. I cannot believe that. Holy crap. But, uh, as you approach that, um, I just wanted to say, listen, I'm just going to be as real as I can with you. There's going to be days when you just see a bunch of things, you start craving them, and then you start thinking, maybe I'm going to do some kind of variety. And maybe you will. Maybe you're going to... Um, You'll have uh, like a chicken Alfredo with Alfredo sauce, like something that's carnivore, but it's just different than like ground beef or steak. And I got to say, like, it, it, it's OK. And it tastes fine. But believe it or not. The longer I go. In the carnivore journey, the more I actually enjoy eating eggs steak and beef over and over and over. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but it's almost like your body just can't get en enough of the, the, the nutrition. And it's like, I love this. I love this. I love it. And then like, and, and it's so like, it's like, it's like realizing it over time. And it's like, man, I just, I love doing this. And then every time you start to kind of stray away from that formula, your body's like, no, 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 you don't, no, 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 don't, don't, don't worry about that. Get back, get back to, you know, beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. And you start going back to that. And it's like the eggs just taste so good, even though I've had them, you know, all the time or, or I have them all the time, but the eggs, the yolks taste so, so good. The meat just keeps tasting so good. Um, and, and, and again, I don't eat bacon all the time, but it's I don't look at bacon as a main food group. Like, remember when you used to have to do like 
a well-balanced diet, right? The sad diet, yeah, they have X amount of protein and vegetables and starch or whatever, you know, all that crap. Well, we know that's not true. When the carnivore journey, I look at your main course as beef. And I look at eggs as sort of like mashed potatoes or whatever. And then I look at bacon as like a little bit of vegetables, right? So that's kind of how I look at maybe a well-rounded meal. Like today when I had the, I had the chuck roast, I had about a pound of it on my plate. I had, you know, those, those three over medium eggs and you want to go at least over medium at the most. If you don't like runny yolks, you can do over hard, but try to keep your, your yolks runny because that's where you're going to really get the most um, out of them. That melatonin and all those nutrients in there. But, uh, you know, like I said, you got your, your meat, you got your eggs and a few, few, few slices of bacon and it just made for such an excellent meal. And then I had that side of broth that was with the roast. I just poured it in a cup and I was eating that. And then I drank the rest of it, saved the broth, saved the other half. I put the, the one half in a small Tupperware or uh, not small, but you know, like, you know, appropriate size Tupperware. I poured juices in there, put the lid on. I had still had broth left, bought another Tupperware container, poured that in there, put a lid on there. So if I wanted to have, like, say, a bowl of beef broth, I've got it. It's an excellent flavor. tastes amazing. Just salt, butter, and beef, you know, flavor. But it tastes amazing. It really came out good. good. So I just wanted to address the food fatigue thing because... I know it's a big thing for a lot of people. And when you first start, your mentality is, God, how am I going to do this? Because I can't see myself eating the same thing over and over and over because I already love a variety of foods. When you came into this in the SAD diet and you were addicted to all those carbs, all those sugars, we used to eat hundreds of different types of foods. But you got to remember, your body doesn't care about flavor in the end it, it works on a molecular level it just breaks down things and that's when they start talking about the science of oh this is a carrier to this in this cell and in this hitchhikes a ride and this transport this and this transport that your body is just doing its thing on that that micro level it doesn't care about flavor and all that other crap so you know yeah a cookie might taste amazing but on a molecular level, it's damaging you and hurting you. It's just poison. So that's why it's important to get those nutrients in. But anyways, but as far as actual food fatigue, though, flavor-wise and eating the same thing, yes, I, occasionally I still want to experiment and stray. But as soon as I do, like I said, you're right back at it into the beef, butter, bacon, and eggs again. I'm telling you. And it's amazing. It's amazing. I never thought I'd be like that, but I am. So guys, anybody that's new, hang in there. I'm telling you, it will continue to reward you over and over and over. And guess what? I'm going to be weighing in in a few days. Uh, Wednesday. Wednesday is going to be day 150. So I can't wait, guys. All right. We will see you tomorrow, day 148 on Monday. Holy crap. Where does the time go? Seriously, guys. All right. Love you all. Love you guys. Oh, and I don't know if it's if it's still here. I don't like to celebrate um, subscribers too much because um, sometimes you, like, hit a number. Like, I hit 900. But then, like, somebody will just, like, unsubscribe or something, and I'll be back to, like, $8.99 right now. I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't like to, sub, to celebrate too much of that stuff. Uh, my biggest thing is, like, I appreciate everybody. I appreciate the support. I appreciate the, the views, um, the love, the comments. I mean, we've been building a family here, and I love it, and I love you guys. And that's the most important thing. It's not about numbers here. Um, all right, guys, I love you. I hope you enjoyed uh, my take on food fatigue. So, <laughs> all right, bye.